For this demo, I want to go through how you can add actions to a block in order to make it more useful. Uh, the example I'm using is a duplex outlet with a GFI note. You could uh, apply this process to many different symbols. Um, and I'm going to show you what the finished pro product is going to look like and then take you through the steps to create it. So for this block, I've added a flip action so that I can um, flip the, the outlet back and forth, so depending on which side of the wall it was on. I've added a rotate, so I can rotate the whole symbol um, again to position it correctly on the wall. And the other thing that I've done is I've added a rotate action to the text. So in, as, um, in this example here, if I've rotated the outlet around um, and my text is upside down, I can then fix my text and, and rotate it back around so that it's right side up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this drawing and start with a standard duplex block. And I'm just going to double click on it and go into my block editor and close properties here for right now. And I'm going to add the GFI text here. So let me adjust my um, annotation scale first. I'm going to set this to 1 8 of an inch because that would be my most common uh, scale that I would be working in plan. So I'm going to add a piece of text here for the GFI. And I'm just going to scoot it in a little bit closer. And then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my flip action. And I know the insertion point for my block is on this side. So that's the side that I want to put my flip on. So I'm going to go into the uh, authoring palettes and I'm going to look at the parameter sets because the parameter sets already have um, actions and parameters built in. So you don't have to do them individually. So I'm going to look for the flip set and I'm going to add it to this side of my outlet. And the next thing I want to do is I have to tell it what I want it to flip. So I'm going to right click on the, the little action uh, box down here and select action selection set and cl click on new selection set. I want it to flip the outlet itself and I also want it to flip my text. So the next thing I want to do is I want to add the rotate action. But as you're doing um, working with actions in blocks, it's always a great idea to test your block. So I'm going to test my flip action first here. Make sure it's doing what I want it to do, and it is. So then I'm going to close my close that one. And um, the next thing I'm going to do is going to add that rotation. So I'm going to look for the rotation set. And again, I'm going to put it over here on this side because that's where my insertion point is. And I want to get it centered between these two lines. So I'm going to find my center of my um, circle and then line it up with the end here for my center. And then I don't need a really big radius. Um, and I want it to go all the way around. So I want to make sure that the, the rotation shows all the way back to zero. So now again, I need to tell it what it is that I want to rotate. So I'm going to right click on this little action box again, select action selection set and new selection set. And I want it to rotate the text, the outlet, and then I also want it to rotate my flip state because I want that to travel with it as I, as I rotate. So I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to go ahead and, you know, let's test our block again here. Try our rotate. Check and make sure our flip still works. It does. And then, like I said, you know, we've got to work on getting this text so that it's oh, we can make it right side up. So I'm going to close my test block here and go back into my uh, editor. And I'm going to put in another rotation set. So I'm going to select rotation set. And this time I want it to be kind of in the middle of my text. So I'm going to I'm going to see if I can find about the the center there. And again, I don't need a huge radius, but I also want it to go all the way around. And again, I have to tell it what I want to rotate. So I'm going to right click on the, the box and go into the action selection set and new selection set. So now I'm going to select my text because that's all I want this one to rotate. Now, what I need to do is I need to go back now and adjust my flip state and my rotation so that it includes this um, action. So I'm going to go back into my flip state 
and go into the action selection set and modify. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my rotation and then I'm also going to go into my rotation that um, is rotating the outlet and the text as a whole and I'm going to add this um, this action to it as well. So I'm going to right click on the box and go to action selection set modify and I'm going to select that rotation. Then let's test our block again and make sure that it works. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to test my flip. So my flip is taking my rotate width, so that's good. Let's try rotating. And it also took the uh, took this rotation width, so that's good. So it looks like the, the block is functioning the way I want it to function. I'm just going to hit close my test block, and then I want to make sure and save my block. And then I can close out of my block editor. And then we should have a block that's doing what we want it to do with the rotation, the flip, oops, and then also the ability to rotate this text. So like I said, you can apply this to lots of different symbols, um, can have lots of different uses. You just have to always make sure that you are testing your um, block and adding your actions back in to make sure everything's functioning together.